Another beautiful winter day. Today we're in Summerside, Prince Edward Island. Going for a back walk. Come along. We got Bane, my seven-year-old American bully. And his brother over there from another mother named Rogue, who is an American Bulldog mix. We got Nova, three-year-old German Shepherd. And we got Roxy taking a pee. She is a three-year-old American pit bull. We got, no, she's four. We got a uh, three-year-old Ameri uh, English Bulldog, Sadie. And up there we've got three-year-old Paige, little Sheltie mix. Come on! I don't like them to get too out of, out of sight, so I keep them a little close, but it's just because this, uh, this is a very well-traveled trail. And lots of people and uh, dogs on this trail. But my dogs are all very friendly to other people and strange dogs. Come on, Roxy. You're fooling around in there, eh? Good girl. Come on, let's go this way. Take the less traveled trail. It'll uh, take us into the woods. Here, Rope. Come on, Paige. Come on! Good girl, Paige, come on! Oh my gosh, look at Nova go. It's my old stomping grounds. I went to high school right over here. It's my high school in the distance. Ten years ago. One more. Hey guys. What are you doing, Rogue? Rox is in heat, so she's got to pee on everything. I'm gonna head up to the old high school there. There you guys, come on. Let's go, Rogue. Come on. Oh, he's bad. Hey, Rogue, what are you sniffing? Come on. All my dogs are on e-collars, the uh, mini educator. Uh, actually, I'm using an easy educator. It's a four dog system. And then I have another two dog system in my pocket as well. And that way, if uh, any emergencies arise, I can recall them real quick if I have to. But uh, all the dogs are conditioned to the e-collar and you know what it means. But, uh, they come a-running if they feel it. So it's a... A good uh, safety net, in my opinion, for these off-leash pack walks. Oh, no, this is going to take a poop. Okay. In the old rugby fields. And <laughs> Nova's still pooping.
Come on over here, guys. Here, Paige. Come here, Paige. Oh, Paige and Nova. Come on. We can have a drink of the nice cold water, eh, in the slough? Oh, man. That's gross water. Come on! Find something to sniff. Anytime there's a fox scat or a coyote scat, they are, uh, they are sniffing it. There is leash laws here in Summerside, and that's another reason why we have these e-collars on, is they uh, serve as a leash, a wireless leash. And uh, I've spoken with the uh, local police department, and they, they feel like as long as they have an e-collar on, that counts as a leash. We are, we are uh, abiding by the laws, so that's, uh, that's our main reason for having them on, is uh, it's the law. Hey girl! If you've been watching my videos for five or six years now, you may even say to yourself, Dan used to be very against these e-collars. He was. I certainly was. But I just didn't know anything about them. The thing about shocking a dog is just not cool in my opinion. After I got taught by some good friends in this dog community about how these collars work, and they put them on myself, they uh, turned it right up and gave directions on it. It's a pretty awesome system that I believe in wholeheartedly now. I uh, think that they're probably the best tool for a dog owner. Uh, definitely my favorite tool. Before ever using them, I can never imagine going on a walk like this. Um, the anxiety level for myself, just with that dog running off right now, would have been very, very high. Um, but with the structure of the back and uh, with the uh, constant kind of not just from a leader they have uh, become one hell of a good pack awesome group of dogs to walk off leash and around especially in public with other people and dogs and, uh, these collars just make them a little bit safer in case we have to call them back real quick Anything like that you be nice Nova you be nice you bully yeah, right? That was not nice. Well, guys, the battery's gonna die, so this is where we're gonna end the video. But, uh, 